Hello everyone, today on the Life Transformation Challenge we're going to talk about five steps to help you plan the life you deserve. Hello everyone, as discussed in the intro we're going to talk about planning today, in particular how to plan to create a great life. And if something's worth doing, it's definitely worth planning. So as always, I have a quote to begin this session, and it is, one hour of planning saves three hours of execution. Now that was given by Norman Schwarzkopf, who was the leader of the uh, Desert Storm invasion of Kuwait to take on Saddam Hussein. Now he was criticized for not taking action quite often. He was criticized for being the sort of guy who would plan meticulously. But interestingly, his quote came true, and his expert planning and the time and the patience he took to plan led to it being one of the quickest um, military victories of all time. And I believe in that concept. I know myself, when I've planned something, if I plan these videos or plan my day, it saves three hours of stuffing around and mistakes and things like that. So planning is incredibly important. It, saves, it can save a third of your life, and you can use that third of your life to really embrace the multitudes that are out there because there's so much to experience and enjoy. So clients often will talk to me or email me or we'll, we'll get into discussions about how they don't have a plan for their life. They're just allowing day-to-day -day things to happen to them. And um, as Alice, as, as, yeah, the Cheshire Cat is my favorite cartoon sort of or, or animated character ever in Alice in Wonderland once said, when Alice said, you know, Mr. Cheshire Cat, um, which path should I take when she came to a fork in the road? And the Cheshire Cat said, well, where do you want to go, Alice? And Alice says, well, I don't know. And the Cheshire Cat says, well, it doesn't matter what path you take then. And the Cheshire Cat was really demonstrating that if you don't have a plan, really, it doesn't matter where you go. And our lives are very valuable. And we need to know where we're going. And creating a plan is super important to that. In my own life, I know when um, I've had big ideas, I've been constantly frustrated because I didn't have a plan. You know, I've been thinking about delivering this sort of content daily for years. I've been told by people this is what I should do. I've been told by large audiences that this is the best and most insightful and most actionable, you know, motivational speaking they've ever seen. But I've become frustrated because I didn't know how to deliver that because I wouldn't plan. I just go out and do it. And I was lucky enough to be able to just, you know, ad hoc stand in front of people and communicate. But without a plan, I wasn't able to deliver it in the best format I could. And I'm sure we're all like that. I'm sure we have something we're good at that we can do off the cuff. But if we planned it, imagine how amazing we could make it. And to do that, I'm going to give you five steps. And um, these steps are designed to be able to create a plan and the right sort of plan to make sure that you are living and you're heading towards the uh, destiny you deserve. And unlike Alice, you know exactly where you're going and what you want to get. So um, the first step in planning your life is what do you want? And then once you've written down what you want, I want you to write down what you really want because quite often what we want is a collection of things we've been told we should be or how we should be. But in your heart, you really know. And the trick I use is I normally write down 20 things that I want and then I scrub out 19 of them because generally you'll get to the right one. So what do you want? You need to write it down Use that technique, write down 20 things you want. If you can't think of any, write down 20. It's amazing how your brain can come up with these things. And then knock out, say, 19 or 18 to really get to the core of what you want. Number two is you need to have an action plan. A plan is great, but it needs to be acted on. And Tony Robbins always says, this, don't take action, take massive action. And that's the key. The quote I love, and I use this all the time, is if a job's worth doing, it's worth doing poorly. Now, that sounds like a crazy quote, but the quote's really saying that don't let things get in your way. It's not going to be perfect, but just start, take action. And that's your second step in creating a, a plan that's going to um, really accelerate your life mission. Number three is to commit to that plan. How many times have we set up a plan or, you know, promised to do some things, but we've just said, oh, now we're too busy or, you know, I haven't got the funds or I'll do it when or if. When you're using those words, I'll do it when or if they're conditional. And your life isn't conditional. You know, these plans don't wait for you. So don't make them conditional. Make them a priority and commit. The fourth step is to schedule them. Now, the reality is, is that no matter how much you um, commit to something, things will, robots will come to the way. There'll be obstacles and things that you didn't expect. So it needs to be scheduled. For me, I get up at 5 a.m. every single morning and do the things that are important to me. Exercise, meditate, work on my videos and my purpose. 
Why do I get up at five? Because I know between five and seven, I won't be distracted because most people are asleep. You need to find a way to schedule. For some people, it'll be different. Maybe night times is better for them. But that's the particular reason I wake up at 5 a.m. Most people think I'm crazy, but I know for a fact that scheduling my purpose is super important and waking up early is the way I do it. And I'd recommend everyone gives it a go. Let's face it, at 9.30, 10.30 at night, you're generally just sitting in a couch watching TV. You'd be better off sleeping and waking up early and using those hours. So I'll go to bed quite early. Quite often I'll go to bed at 9, 9.30. But I think about the hours, what would I be doing with those hours? And they weren't very fruitful. I'll tell you what, at 5 a.m. when I'm up exercising, meditating, etc., I think they're very impactful and useful hours. And the fifth step is to complete, measure, and celebrate. So once you've completed your um, plan, you need to measure it. Was this successful? Did it get me to where it want? Because not all plans are going to be perfect. So you need to say, I just need to tweak these things in my schedule or the way I commit or my massive action. And finally, once you've done that, something really important that I recommend, you know, that I recommend to couples and to businesses is celebrate. Too often we celebrate trivial things, you know, the date of our birth. I'm not saying don't celebrate your birthday, but you know what's more important than the date of your birth? The fact that you're taking action and committing and succeeding in your life, because that's where the juice is. So when you do something for yourself, celebrate. When I say celebrate, I don't necessarily mean go out and get drunk. I mean do something nice for yourself. For me, sometimes it's small daily goals. For example, if I complete three or four things on my outcomes list, I'll get myself a coffee, or I'll go for a walk to the beach, or I'll spend some time in nature. And those sort of rewards, which motivate me, are my celebrations. So don't just celebrate when you've finalized your big plan. Celebrate as you go through your plan, and you'll be motivated to consistently take action during that plan. So planning, if your life's worth it, it's worth planning it. And, um, a dream without a plan is just a daydream. A dream with a plan is a goal, and you can achieve that. So what do you really want? Start with step one, what do you really want? And remember, write down lots of things, because a lot of them won't be what you want, they'll be what other people want. And then start formulating these, the plan using these five steps. For me, using this plan means I get to deliver this content to you daily, which is my purpose, which drives me, which I'm incredibly, incredibly um, overwhelmed and um, happy to be able to do. I'm very thankful for my audience and my fans. And I think that whilst it might not be in front of a video on you know, YouTube or, um, or the internet, you will have something in your life that's your purpose. Now you need to plan it. I've been wanting to do something like this for maybe my entire life. I think it's always has been something inside of me that I wanted to channel through. This is what the universe wanted for me, but I needed to plan. The universe wants to check if you're serious about what you're doing. And the way it checks is by putting roadblocks. You can get over your roadblocks with a plan. Don't be like Alice. Be like the Cheshire Cat and know that the plan and where you're going are super important. Thank you so much. We're moving along in our One Year Life Challenge. I hope you're noticing the day-to-day -day challenges. You take action on these small bite-sized pieces of information. If you'd like a positive daily message in the media that seems to be so interested in, in death and destruction, sign on to um, uh, follow me on Twitter or Instagram or Facebook and I'll deliver those messages daily so we can stay on track for our One Year Life Challenge. Other than that, Thank you and see you tomorrow for the next video. Bye. Head to YouTube and subscribe. You'll get bonus content, behind the scenes footage, podcasts, audio books, and a copy of my book, Zen in the City, the minute you become a subscriber to my YouTube channel. So what are you waiting for? Head out there now.